Are you ready to start creating custom layered patches in Key Studio? Well, you're in the right place. This video is part one of a three-part series on creating custom patches. By the end of this video, you will be familiar with one of the real meat and potatoes components of Key Studio. So strap in and let's get going. We have six slots that we can load sounds into so that we can create a patch with multiple layered sounds. I'm going to load a piano into slot one. So I'll add a new blank patch by clicking the plus button above the patch list. With this new patch selected in blue, I'll navigate to the patch browser located in the inspector area of main stage. If for some reason you don't see the inspector area, you can toggle it off and on by clicking the eye icon in the upper left corner. With our blank patch selected, select the patch library tab, then navigate to user patches, Key Studio patch browser. A quick note, if you don't see the user patches option, click the gear in the top right corner of the inspector and make sure show user settings is checked. Then click the attributes tab and then back on the patch library tab. After selecting user patches, Key Studio Patch Browser, I'll choose Slot 1 Patches because I want to load a sound into Slot 1. I'll choose Pianos, and then I think I want a standard style piano, so I'll open that folder. I'll scroll through these options and I'll play a few to audition them. Yep, I think I'm going to go with the stage piano. Notice how when I select a patch in the browser, it replaces the blank patch I added with the selected browser patch. Now I think I'd like a pad in slot 2 to go along with that piano. I'll use the same process as before. Click the button to add a new blank patch. Use the browser to select the slot I want to load a patch into, in this case slot 2. Choose the category of sound I'm looking for. Choose the subcategory. Audition a few sounds. All right, at this point, I have added two patches to my patch list, a piano in slot one and a warm pad in slot two. I'm now going to combine these two patches together so that I have a new patch that contains both sounds. I'll select both patches in the patch list by holding the command key and clicking to select both patches in blue. With these patches selected, I'll click the gear icon and choose new patch from selected patches. If a warning happens to pop up, just check the do not show this message again box, then the create button. Now we have a new layered patch with both the piano and pad in it. In the patch list, I'll go ahead and delete the original two patches I used to create this patch from because we don't really need them anymore. Then I'll rename my layered piano and pad patch by double clicking on it and giving it a name that makes sense, like piano and pad. I can dial in the sound of this patch by using the buttons, knobs, faders, and text modifiers available in each slot. Side note, there is a whole video dedicated to using these slot controls, so you will definitely want to check that one out after watching this video. Once I have my settings dialed in and things are sounding the way I like them, I'll save my concert file to save the settings for the patch. Side note, if you don't save the concert file before changing patches, then the changes you made to the slot controls will revert back to the default. Therefore, as a general practice, you will want to make your changes on the layered patch and then save the concert file to save those changes before ever changing patches. 
Now let's export this patch so that we can load it from the patch browser whenever we'd like. Just right click on the patch and choose save as patch. To keep things organized, save the patch to an appropriate location in the browser. I'll open the main stage directory from my favorites bar, then choose the Key Studio patch browser folder, then layered patches, then favorites and user. Click export to save the patch there. Now, just for fun, let's open that patch up from the browser. I'll create a new blank patch, navigate to the Key Studio patch browser, choose layered patches, favorites and user, and select the patch I just saved to that location. I highly encourage you to experiment with creating new layered patches. This concept is where the magic of Key Studio really shines. Take some time to explore the many options you have. The browser is laid out in a very intuitive way that makes finding the exact sound you're looking for really easy. If you'd like to check out some examples of layered patches we've created, you can find those in the browser as well. Just navigate to the Key Studio patch browser, layered patches, pre-built directory. Also, make sure to check out the Community Patch Collective page to find patches that the Key Studio community members have created or even share your own patches there. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, you have six slots to load six sounds into, and the process is the exact same whether you're creating a layered patch with just two slots or all six. If you run into any issues, make sure to check out the troubleshooting area at the bottom of this webpage. This video is part one of a three-part series on creating custom patches. In the next video, we will learn how to adjust the keyboard range where we can play each sound, and to also adjust the octave that the sound plays in. When you're ready to learn more, I'll see you over in that video.